Hi guys, Rob here at Deluxe Gaming and welcome to the first episode of the fifth season of my Reassembly Let's Plays. And in this season, of course, we are going to play... Dun, 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 wait for it. We are going to be playing The Sentinels. So this series, this particular Let's Play, there, there are two purposes. One, we're going to do a regular Let's Play where we're going to come up with a theme and I need your guys' help to come up with a theme and whatever you pick, I kind of go with it and then I try to build around it like the last one. I... People were pushing hard for the carnivorous space elves, so I ended up doing carnivorous space elves and I built ships that resembled what I visioned, envisioned the carnivorous space elves would look like, and I even kind of voiced it a little bit. It was a little weird at times, but that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do a Let's Play like that, where you guys come up with a theme. I'm going to build a couple ships, and you're going to figure it out. The second part of this one, which is really exciting to me, is this season I want to build a fleet for my up-and-coming tournament. So I want to compete in my own tournament. I, I don't really care if I win, but I want to build a fleet that can actually compete in our up-and-coming tournament. Now, I either want to do two fleets. I, I'd either like to do a 15,000 and a 35,000, but more than likely, I won't have time for that. So I'm going to aim for a 35,000p fleet <laughs> before August 30th, which means there's a little bit of pressure for me in this Let's Play, and I'm not used to that kind of pressure. I am... Uh, Usually, as you guys know, I don't have an enormous amount of time to be doing videos that often. And uh, trust me, I would love to do them all the time. It would be super cool. But at this point in time, you know, I do work all the time too as well. And I just don't have that ability. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Yeah. Um, so me adding this little bit of pressure, of course, well, it does a couple things. First off, you guys are pretty much guaranteed you're gonna see a video, at least a couple videos, two if not three videos a week, because we only have a couple weeks before the tournaments, <laughs> because I wanna get the series finished before, uh, you know, so that so I actually have something to put into the into the uh, tournaments, which is really, really exciting. Now, um, we have, I, I mean, I've, I have not built any ships really designed for any of the tournaments yet. I, I, I shout cast them all, which is really, really fun and interesting for me. I'm trying to find, you know, this is this is a part. I never come up with good colors. The last time I did like a green and red, and that's why people were like, oh, do carnivorous space cells. Well, people, Mr. Pickles and Tea, I think that was his idea. And somebody was saying I should do America and because it was red and sort of could have been red, white, and blue. I don't know. I don't remember, but I don't know. I, I'm terrible at picking colors. And I know the color is sort of probably going to inspire somebody to yell out some kind of weird theme. So... Uh, see, and I don't, want, I don't want to go with neutral colors. I want it to be extreme, like extreme purple. Extreme purple with extreme... Oh, that looks pretty nice. Yeah, I kind of like that. Kind of like that uh, deep, deep purple. I don't want to go too deep. Otherwise, it might be hard to see. Although, I think it's it's not so bad over YouTube. Like, it's not so bad. But, uh, like, a little bit darker. Yeah. And the yellow, purple and yellow. Like, I remember colors from kindergarten. Well, I remember it. I, I'm not very good at it. I think I failed kindergarten. I don't think I failed kindergarten, but I'm, well, maybe. <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't held back during, for kindergarten. Just a lot of hard memories. <laughs> I'm not colorblind. I'm just, I'm just not good at this. Okay, so let's, uh, let's be quick here. Ooh, blue and purple. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> pink, ooh, I kind of like, I kind of like that. I kind of like the whole pink and purple thing. Although it doesn't really stand out enough. You know, like what if we went, whoa, whoa, that's that, whoa. Oh, look at the green, the green and the pink is awful. No, we did green last time. We can't do green again. Okay, I, I think we'll do the purple thing. Uh, it's gotta be the right. I want it to be a dark, manly purple. Man, oh, that's, ooh, that's really, that's like black. That looks really cool. I just don't think you'd be able to see it that well. I want, I wanna have, uh, you know, like see, see how there's different shades of purple. So, so even though this is kind of the base purple, this dark, it has multiple different shades of purple for different parts that you add on. So. I want to make sure that we've got a nice array, but you see when we do this, it, it doesn't, it kind of blends everything out. So yeah, this way you get kind of that, almost looks like different levels, right? Like it, it almost looks multi-dimensional, but it, even though it is, it is not. <laughs> like there's no textures at all, but oh, and you can actually even almost see the little blocks individually too. So depending on which color you pick, like that, I know it's not a great color, but you can kind of see the, the layers really well. I don't know. I, th I think we'll go with that and I think we'll do... Uh, I like, I like the blue. Yeah. Oh yeah. See that the secondary color also determines how well you see those layers. 
I like the whites and stuff, but it's just too, it's too bright. I honestly, 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 <laughs> I think we need to go. Yeah, I think we go darker. Oh, I messed up this color. That's why. Yeah, I like the dark purple. And I think we'll do, uh, we got to have something contrast. So I think we'll do yellow. Yeah, yellow and purple. Yeah, a nice bright kind of yellowy. It's kind of a greeny. Yeah, because it's mixed in with the other colors there. But yeah, it's got a little bit of orange in there too. I like it. Very nice. I'm, I'm actually, okay. I have a couple questions. I have a question. Why does it say red here and B and line? So it's showing the previous screen too as well. Is it? So that's a bug. <laughs> we are playing with the newest patch. Sorry, it took so long for me to figure out the colors here, but okay. And um, we're going to think, of, I want you guys to think of a theme as I play. We'll probably decide it by like episode three. But in the meantime, we're going to call this the Defenders of the center. Uh, I, I call them, uh, the reason I think of them as the defenders of the center because they're often found in the center of the universe <laughs> or in the galaxies, right? Um, usually when you fight them. Oh, this is so cool. <gasps> it's been so long. Oh, wow. Look at that. Those are burst. They're like a burst laser. Oh, wicked cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, right, right, right. Yes, yes, yes. Tutorial. It has been, it's been months since, I mean, well, since I, you know, really played. I think I did finish the last season of, uh, my last, la season four with Carnivorous Space Cells. I think I finished that uh, a month ago or maybe, maybe a month, a half ago. It has been a while. <laughs> but, uh, oh, man. Actually, I, I kind of like the colors. Let's take, oh, we got some stations. Very nice. So a little bit of growth on your station. I like the burst lasers. I've always liked the burst lasers for tournaments. And I think that is going to be something that we include in our ships. And I'm thinking I want fast, very, very, very fast forward moving ships in a fleet tournament because I suspect, and I think, and I don't know. Ooh, it's juicy, juicy bits, my bits, my bits, my bits. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, yeah. Oh, the fight for bits. It's been so long. Oh, how I've missed you, reassembly. Oh, yes, follow tutorial. I know, I know, but we're just exploring right now. Yes, yes, yes. The first few episodes, oh, I lost, I lost my hand. <laughs> Ow, that really hurt. Um, <laughs> driving, driving is hard. Um, yeah, so the first few episodes generally in these Let's Plays is just a little bit of exploring and understanding what we're, you know, how these how these things are going to fly. And this this starting ship is actually pretty cool, although it doesn't have, oh, it has missiles. It does have missiles on the, all, it's all bound properly too. So we've got missiles on the right, right mouse button. Look at that, just two missiles. <laughs> so just because of the way they're placed and we've got burst lasers on the center and we've got point defense. So these are... These are plasma bolts. Okay, so let's let's actually take a look at the ship itself here. Ooh, drag blocks from pallet. P value limits, blah, blah, blah. Keyboard commands, exit when finished. Ooh, he did some work on the tutorial, actually. I'm pretty impressed with that. So very pretty colors, I'm very impressed. So we have access to the Gauss Beam. It's called a Gauss Beam, but it, it, it acts very much like the, I wonder what, I wonder how it compares to the, uh, to the burst laser, the pulse laser. I forget what it's called now. Uh, the, the faction one, I think it's faction one. And then we have plasma bolts, so that's what this is. It's a fast uh, damage, 50 per round, uh, 15 splash damage, so it does a little bit of splash damage. It fires fairly quickly, 0.5 rounds per second. Range 1500, which isn't bad. Energy 46, okay. And flurry missiles. I will now, I dub the furry missiles. They are furry missiles. <laughs> I don't know, just because that's what I do. I, I think the first modification we will make to the ship is so that it fires four missiles instead of two, just by moving it, right? Because if I do it right again, right, yeah, you know, right, you know, you know, we're not gonna do any fast forwards probably today, I don't know, we'll see. I just, I wanna understand, so depot, oh, okay, so this one can, the depot can store R, interesting, okay. How much R storage does this sucker have? Hold on, exit, yes, save. Just curious, uh, we can store 1,000 R at this point. So these depots, do I even have any of those on here? Oh, we got segments, segments. <laughs> so there's different levels of segments. So we've got, uh, let's see if I remember all the keys. Yes, yes. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so three different sizes. And each one of these, uh, so mass health, oh, pretty good, pretty good health. Not bad, okay. So that's just a different, these are the same, just different scales. Oh no. Oh no, these are different. So this is a tougher, hold on. Yeah, yeah, so this is this is tougher. This one here, this segment is actually tougher and it's heavier. Hold on, let's shrink that down. Whoops. Yeah, so this is mass 12 
and this is mass 10, but this is 400 health versus 200 health. Oh, the segment is, this, the core hull is so much better. Look at that, that, that's, so the second level, 16 and 48, uh, so the mass is 48, so that's almost double. Oh, this one's almost double. Oh, crazy. Okay, so the second level, this segment is better. Oh, that's a third level, that's why. Oh, I see, so yeah. Yeah, but these, these core hulls are just, they're, they're a little, they're quite a bit heavier, but they're way more health, so that's good to know, good to know. So I'll be using a lot of those, but I really want the ships that I build for this fleet, I want them to be fairly light. So, okay, so I, they do more of this core and auxiliary, right? So this is an auxiliary hull, these are auxiliary, this is core. I get it, I get it, interesting. And then we've got armor plates. So these are 1P each, and they're kind of like unobtainium, uh, so, except, well, they're not 1,000p, but they, oh, they come in different shapes and sizes. Look at that, 500p. So they're not quite as tough, tough as the unobtainium, but I like that they come in different shapes. Ooh, very nice. That'll be fun to play with. And, of course, our thrusters. Let's go take a look at our upgrade screen. Yes, yes, yes. Build P, blah, blah, blah. All right, Annihilator. Oh, any gun named Annihilator has got to be fun to play with. All right, so damage, 100 per round. It looks like just a big plasma gun or that kind of thing. Uh, what's our range on it? 1,500. So it's the same range as the plasma bolt. 15 and 12. Oh, it's a little bit a uh, little bit faster firing. Uh, the turret speed, 344 degrees per second. Turret speed, 340. Exact turret rotation on those. And we have reactors. Uh, did we... Did we Oh, we didn't start with an. We didn't start with a reactor. Interesting, or, or you know, like a, a power generator. That's it. We didn't start. We didn't start with any power generation. Interesting, and of course, nukes. Now my fleet is going to have nukes, but I don't want it to focus on the nukes. I don't know, that's probably a mistake. And then we've got the beam weapon, which is like a, an obscenely powerful death laser. <gasps> I love the name. The obliterator, obscenely, that's what it says, obscenely power, not enough to decrypt, ah, oh, obscenely powerful death laser. I I've seen all, all these weapons in the tournaments, of course, and then a harvester, I don't get to see that in the tournaments. I've seen all these uh, things in the tournaments uh, just at a distance. I never actually get to, or I haven't actually played with them yet. Again, I have not really played this game outside of YouTube, so, um, it's interesting. So that, what, what is that? That's just a pile of stuff just lying around interesting fascinating all right so <laughs> let's let's go get some uh let's go get some oh bad guys oh well all right um missiles are very slow look at him go very slow Ooh, he's kind of stuck in me that did not sound good at all uh okay ah whoa plus schmutz who's got the schmutz somebody's got schmutz ah no 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 spinny no 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 Whoa! Okay. Also, oh, 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 something else I really want to look at. Oh, this is going to be such a fun series. I, I'm probably going to do uh, one of these every couple days. This is probably the easiest way for us to get points right now is just to take over these stations. And it requires far less skill. Uh, store our capacity to fill, blah, fly near station, trade for our blah, blah, blah. Right, right, right. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. So, oh, stations. Yes, I like defenses. Oh, oh, big bad guys. Oh, right, we are in the middle. I can't reverse. Um, hello? I cannot reverse. I'm stuck. Uh-oh. Medic? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it spit me out. It pooped me. Um, so, yeah, so let's just take a quick look at the map. Yes, we are. This is why I call them the defender, defenders of the center, because the sentinels are, of course, they're defenders of the center. They generally uh, appear in the middle, of course, with the crystalline as well. <laughs> so we're going to have be facing some pretty tough foes right from the get go. Um, let's see if we can't make his his life miserable here. Oh, uh, we don't have very good firepower and trying to fire at that distance with these burst lasers. Now, I can't, I can't uh, that's about as fast as I can fire them like that. Oh, we're making some money, though. That's good. That's good. We need to make more, and we need to make more faster. Faster, harder, bigger. <laughs> you know how this works. I don't know what we're going to do for a theme yet. Uh, I think we need to build our first couple ships before we decide what we're going to do for a theme. We can't really determine that until... The problem is, these crystal guys, they're generally pretty tough. Oh, cut them in half. Those Goss guns are maybe... Oh, ah, 
I gotta remember to fire those missiles. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spinny. Spinning. Spinning's not not good. Not good. Okay. Run away. Run away. Yes, they have big dangerous missiles as well. I remember that. We do have some point defense, but not not nearly enough. Okay. That is a really cool looking ship. So he's got the obscenely powerful death lasers. <gasps> we gotta have one of those on our ship, like as soon as possible. Can we upgrade that yet? Like I just want to the obliterate. Twenty-four thousand? What? Are you kidding? How much is it to uh, put on a ship? Twenty-seven hundred p. It's actually more, or it's the same as a nuke. Crazy. So I'm sure people have used these in the tournaments and stuff, but I just I didn't I never knew. Like, so and and also there was something else. Uh, these guys, I think it's the armor spikes and stuff. These guys are used for. Melee damage, yes, melee damage, melee damage multiplier, 500%. So I stick these in the front of our, in the, oh, yeah, that's so cool. So we can ram people, and I'm so, like, I'm notorious for ramming people as it is, so, <laughs> you, you know, you know. So I guess we just, we can replace, whoops, no, no. We can replace parts like, uh, let's turn that around here. Uh, is that, no, 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 hold on, uh, M, there we go, yes, like that. <laughs> Oh, it's been a while since I've had some uh, builds, you know, like, had the opportunity to actually just build ships. It's so much fun, but it is really time-consuming. But for now, I think that's a good start. I will just put this back. So we've fixed our missiles. Ooh, I wish we could just kind of jam these anywhere. That'd be great. <laughs> these extra missiles, just throw them wherever we want. All right, so we've, our, we've got some ramming capabilities. It's awesome. What have we got in our arsenal for ships here? Oh, Scarab. Well, we're just going to... Uh, hold on. No, 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 no. Exit. We are going to delete any other ships. And we're, we're, whoops. No. 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 Delete. Delete. There we go. And I'm probably just going to delete this ship here and build a new ship. Or no, we'll, we'll, we'll modify. Oh, we need more. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh, we need to upgrade. Permanently increase our P. I don't want to waste all our money right now because we might want to, uh, there we go. We've got some ramming spikes. Not very many. But... <laughs> I don't know. I want to test them out. Oh, here. Perfect. Uh, oops, missed. <laughs> That's going to be a problem. Aiming. <laughs> Aiming is always a problem. <laughs> Maybe we should ram this little guy. Oh, he's got friends, though. Um, oh, look. I got a buddy. He's he's having a hard time, too. Uh, let's get out of here. These guys are just way too big. Launch the missiles. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think we have a uh, serious problem with size. We're surrounded by really big bad dudes. Alright, let's get our spike back. Come on. There we go. The call me Spike. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe, yeah, we'll do an Arnold Schwarzenegger theme. Or Terminator. I'll be back. <laughs> get out. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible. I'm terrible at doing uh, ah, I, I can't. Nope. Nope. I think we need more spikes, more engines, the ability to strafe. Um, you know, all those things to be able to ram effectively. In the meantime, we just need to collect goodies and parts and bits. What? Are these these are like little stations or something. It's weird. Why are they just lying? Like, they look like cores of another ship or something. Like, I should be taking them somewhere. Like, I should... Like, there's a mini game where I have to fill the bucket full of these little bits. Or build... Are, these are alive! They're like, these are little parts of something. Like, they're... They're actually ships. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, that, I, maybe it was, maybe it, oh, it actually does something, they're, oh, they're little defensive turrets, oh, so I'll take that with me, <laughs> that's awesome, that's great, come with me, uh, you are, like, extra weaponry, and you can fight all these guys, there, fight him, get him, there we go, meet my little friend, <laughs> it's just a bunch of Goss guns all together, so I just stick around here, and, oh, that's great, I want to be able to build them, um, is there a way for me to... How do I build those? Oh, that's... Hold on. <laughs> I can't... I can't... I can't take that design. That would be super cool if I could take that design. I, I thought there was a way to do it. I, I don't remember. I don't remember if there was a way to do that, but... That would be super cool. Oh, yes! Ram! Ram! Oh, I rammed him! That was super cool! I... I think... I think my gun's got it before I rammed him, to be honest with you, but... Yes! Oh! Nope, nope. Might as well shoot my missiles at the same time. <laughs> Ow! Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. This is this home? These these look like pretty crazy looking ships. Like these these stations, actually. They look they look pretty amazing. 
Um, I'm not. I don't. I'm not sure. I really understand them. Ah, oh, this one's. This one's a little missile launcher. These are little defense outposts. That's so cool. That's so cool. I want to build these and just drop these everywhere. I just poop them out in my factory. There. Here. Shoot him. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh man. That that's super cool. All right. So I think that's part of the plan. I actually, no, we can't do that in the tournament. So you have to have engines on your ships in order for them to be valid. So yeah, not that it would matter. I, I think I'd want engines on all my ships anyway. I don't think a station, well, troll ships might be okay, but I, I don't know. I don't know, I just like this guy. Take him with us. <laughs> Defenders of the core. No, we're not doing the Arnold Schwarzenegger thing. I, I don't know, you guys have to decide the theme, not me. Um, should we do our first build? No, we, we gotta make some points. <laughs> Honestly, we're just messing around. Um, should we try to kill some of these guys? I don't know. We don't have the weaponry to kill people. Like, I'm, this Goss gun requires, like, aiming and stuff. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm not terrible, but I'm certainly... There we go. Fortunately, actually, these uh, these Faction 3 guys, the Reds, they uh, they go down pretty quick. So, actually, they're, they're perfect for us. I'm surprised to find them out here. And we could also take the station, too. This, Oh, flies! Oh, I hate the flies. <gasps> flies. Flies are terrible. Missiles are good against flies, though. All right. I'm stuck again. Ah, oh, man. This thing needs reversing engines badly. Okay, so let's let's make that modification right now. I love that, that you could just say, oh, I need, I need reversing engines and add them. Be done. Excellent save. <laughs> I, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep modified this. Why is it? Why am I reversing engines? There we go. There we go. Uh, takes me. I have to remember how to play this game, right? Reversing engines only work if your f nose is facing towards your cursor, right? So anyway, uh, yeah. No, I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing where we can take this. But I don't know if we're going to keep this ship and add to it for our starting ship, or we're going to. I think we'll probably just build a new ship, probably starting the next episode. This is we just need to make some money, and I don't know if flies are the good, best place to do it, um, because they, uh, they tend to be a problem, and we don't have any fast-firing guns or anything. Wow, okay, I, but the, the reds are actually a good target, so long as I don't get overwhelmed. Oh, I think I rammed him! That was cool! Maybe my other gun got him, I don't know. Alright, so we, it's gonna be slow going making money at this rate. Remember, remember with carnivorous space cells, like we just built one big uh, farming structure or solar panel. That's right, one big solar panel. That's all we needed to do to uh, make money. Uh, those days are over. <laughs> oh, there might. Well, we could take a look and see if there's anything that we could build for these guys that would be kind of cheaty. But I don't like the cheating thing. I, we did it with the carnivorous space cells because I think I, that's how I picture their personality. They're like, whatever. We don't even care, man. Oh, oh, geez, uh, farmers. Uh, this is probably not a good place for us. Escape. Escape. We shall go away. I would love to play the game, like, this close, because it's so cool. Oh, Jesus! But we don't, for the obvious reasons. <laughs> Ooh, who's that? He looks like a... Oh, he's a farmer. He's but I think he's got a shield. Oh, Jesus, he's got big missile. Ah, <sighs> the first death is always the most painful. Um, that's what happens when you're just messing around, when you're totally just messing around. I do like it when the, every time I start a new series with reassembly, I, I have to admit, the, the time I enjoy the most is when we're small, like this. It, it just, it's, it's really enjoyable. Um, I don't know if I want to really get the farmers mad at me. I don't remember, do they have any fast ships that will come and intercept? Because these are pretty good targets. Well, it's got, it's got pretty good point defense. There we go. <laughs> there we go. But nothing that uh, these Goss guns can't handle. Just gotta hit them. There! Beautiful! Wow. It's pretty effective. Actually, once we get nukes... <laughs> nukes are kind of the solar panel of the Sentinels. Once you get the nukes, you pr you're pretty much set, I think. You can handle just about anything. Uh, these guys... Oh. Uh, they took a direct hit from the Goss there. It didn't seem to barely even flinched. Ah, jeez. That's the thing about the Crystallines. Ah, oh, man, I should have dro dropped off all our stuff. That's the thing about the Crystalline guys, is they do have a lot of hit points. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm testing the limitations of this little tiny ship, and then, you know, maybe we'll do a little build. I, I think we need to, uh, 
I need something a little bit more secure than this. <laughs> okay, we're right back. Okay, I remember this game, where I set out to do something really simple and make a couple simple modifications to a ship and end up rebuilding something entirely, and then run out of pee. <laughs> and it's been a long time since I've said, I've run out of pee. I'm all out of pee, folks. So, um, I wanted to build a ramming ship, of course. Obviously, all these spikes, nasty little spikes, and even some big nasty spikes. I, I'm assuming as long as any of these surfaces of any of the spikes touch anything, at a reasonable speed, it'll do uh, lots of damage. And it doesn't matter matter whether it's a big one or a little one. So I was thinking I should have just the big spikes on the outside, but it, it doesn't matter. They're, they they do 500% regardless. I just want to be sure that they are the thing that's touching the enemy when I hit them at high speed. Now, I didn't have any more P for any more guns. Um, I've got three Gauss guns on here. I suppose I could... Uh, what's the difference? Uh, 450 feet? Oh, it's only 12p for the uh, plasma bolts. Okay, so I could theoretically get rid of this Gauss and add a whole crap ton of these plasma bolts instead. And that's actually not a terrible idea. I was going to do missiles too as well, but, but these these armor spikes uh, cost a little bit of P and I added lots of rear engines because I want this thing to move fairly quickly too as well. I don't like that. I don't like banks like this. I don't like, you know, just big banks of weapons. <laughs> Be because I don't like winning like I I know it's terrible right I, I don't like I don't like stuff like that I like I don't know I don't know I I just I don't know it bothers me I, I just I'm not big on the whole blocky ship thing I like to have I like my ships to look really interesting and diverse and full of life and like like it was created by some lunatic and usually it turns out pretty good and it's pretty easy to see that I'm usually the lunatic I'm talking about hey that actually works oh cool so we could do the oh oh, oh no uh, no 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 turn that around <laughs> i know i know i know i stopped the fast forward and then i continued to build because i realized oh i need to put more stuff oh but those will actually launch from there that's cool uh i can oh no can i attach no i can't a attach oh but i can attach there i wonder if they'd get stuck or would they fire uh, we've got enough points to do that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, Scythe is not going to be the name. I want you guys to tell me what the name of our first ship is. Our first ship is going to be a melee damage ship, and I do want melee damage ships in the tournament. I Don't tell me that they're useless, and they're no good, and they won't work, because I'm not building this to win. I'm building this for fun, and uh, I, I am going to enter it into the tournament, but I... I wouldn't feel right if I won anyway, but I my when I design ships, I'm designing ships for the feeling it gives me, like the feeling of the theme. And right now I'm feeling like this this theme should be like this defensive, uber powerful, omnipotent, you know, like this 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 race of of beings that have been around for billions of years and that have just been waiting waiting for kind of like I don't know kind of that homeworldy kind of thing like I forget the name of the race uh the race that you meet in in homeworld where they're kind of the the universe the defenders of the universe kind of thing I don't know it's kind of how I how I picture this race just to be kind of waiting lying in wait until somebody comes along to to, to challenge them right so 
I don't know. I didn't mean to do that. All right. So I don't know what we want to name this first ship. Uh, for now, we will call him the Defender. And I want you guys to come up with the eight. Well, the theme. I think if we come up with the theme, we can probably start coming up with the names pretty easily. All right. So I am ready. We are launching the Defender. Uh, it's a terrible name. Terrible name. And I have a feeling this guy's going to take a while to build. He's much smaller than I expected. Of course. They're always smaller. <laughs> I don't know. Like... I expected him to be much larger, just because, you know, when you're building, you just, things seem, I don't know. Uh, and I did add a couple of the, uh, the R storage thingies. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's go to our bindings uh, before we get beaten up here. Okay, so we got all of our point defense. Yeah, these guys, these guys will be good for point defense. Uh, left mouse for our Goss and right mouse for our missiles. I guess that, that all works. That all works. Yes, look at that. Ooh, look at the missiles. Very pretty. Actually, I like the look of the ship. Now, I wish it was bigger. I'd like to build a larger version, and we are going to need some more engines uh, so that we can strafe better, because this is going to be a ramming ship. Ah, very nice. Very nice. I wonder how... No, we're not going after that crystal ship. There's no way. There is no way. And power seems to be okay. Um, it does cost a little bit of power to launch those missiles. And, of course, the Goss. I added another Goss, so that should... Or, no, we took that... Yeah, with the same amount of Goss. Two Goss. That's right. We took that one out. Because they're pretty expensive. Um, they're probably... And they are really good in tournaments. That I do know. So I'm probably going to be using a lot more of the Goss. But for now, I want to test out ramming capabilities. Um, it's going to be tough to hit these guys. But pretty much any ding should finish them off. Um, I guess I can launch my missiles at the same time. I just want to see the ramming, though. Come on! No, 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 no! Crystal, dude! Go away! No! Oh, no! 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 Okay, come on! Leave me alone! No! Not trying to... Yes. We have failed. We have failed, and we shall try, try again. <laughs> All right, <laughs> gonna stay away from those guys. Those guys, those guys are not good. Uh, maybe we'll go get some more social credits. There's a station up here we can go get. Maybe we'll run into some. The red guys are okay. Farmers would be okay. These are just stations, eh? They're really bizarre looking stations. They're just very square, very square. And this one is interesting. Like I don't, I. Really, I, really fascinating, actually. I, I don't know. You can almost make a theme just out of that. Like, they, it looks like little cities, almost. But, and that is a ship attached. Or, that's not all one unit, is it? What? Are they attached? No, that's gotta be a, that's gotta be a ship that's just stuck. <laughs> it's gotta be. Oh! <gasps> Ooh! Uh, ramming the flies. Yes, if they stood still would be fine. We're just not mobile enough. We need more engines. To make this thing a lot more mobile. I do like the look, though. It looks kind of... I don't know. It looks like a... Like some kind of claw. Or, or or like the inside inside of the mouth of a, of a shark or something. Yeah, shark. Hold on. That's it. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't know if this is a theme or not. Like, I want you guys to come up with a theme. But I think shark bait. Yes, we will we'll call him shark. Doesn't really make sense. Uh... Yeah, okay. Uh, actually, no. We're going to call him, the first guy, we're going to call the Ripper. Yes, the Ripper. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> Better than Defender, because he didn't really look like a Defender. I want to see him ram. Come on, we've got to ram something before we go. But we've got to get this station, too. Let's get this, because that's just easy money. I like the, the little plasma guns are good, but they're pretty short range. The missiles are slow and painful. Uh, probably terrible for a tournament, uh, so I don't know if we'll be using a lot of those when I actually start rebuilding everything for tournament play. I gotta stop ramming stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, ramming the fly. No, the fly. I think they just kind of dissolve. They, they they don't really uh, explode or anything. I think we'll go. We'll head this direction. Uh, I'm so I'm surprised that the flies are actually here. They go down pretty quick. Yeah, they just kind of pop. <laughs> it's great. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Come here. Come here. I want to show you my ramming capability. Uh, the red guy? I think we can ram him. Here we go. Target. Stand target. Stand target. Stand target. Nope. Uh, something in my way. Oh, no, 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 no. Get away. Get away. Get away. Okay. Turn. I'm not even sure. Oh, those are, uh, yeah, we don't have the point defense to be dealing with too many drones. And those laser drones would be a serious problem. Okay. Let's launch our missiles. Oh, why is it? Who is he? Ah. Ramming is more difficult than it looks, because you've got to you've got to line up your guys, and you've got to have some good engines. I think that's 
part of the problem. Are those bees? Those are bee drones. That was a bee drone. That was a faction six. The bees. Oh, well, that's interesting. I think I've just got to keep those missiles launching at all times. Uh, one of easy prey. There is no easy prey in the middle, in the core space. That is definitely a bee drone or a bee faction. Come here. Let me show you my ramming capabilities. I think, I think for ramming, I think it's only good to ram bigger ships because I don't know. Ah, blast. Blast. Okay, well, we'll go take the station. We got one first little build here. Ooh, it looks like we rammed the asteroid. That seemed to work really well. We just kind of cut right through it. That was neat. Hold on, let's try that again. Let's get some speed up. And we will, ooh, bees. Hello, bees. All we gotta do is like, just touch them. But I think, I think we kind of cut into this asteroid. Um, Let's see, we gotta, here we go, here we go. No, no. Uh, okay, so let's re-aim here. Let's turn around. Ooh, hello, flies. I forget which game it was but that we had a lot of problems with flies. Slice! Uh, yeah, it, it worked, but, um... Yeah, we're chewing up... Oh, no, 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 no! Hey, I can, can I reverse here? Yes, we can reverse. I did put in some reversing engines, just some light ones. But, oh, uh, go, 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 go! Turn, 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 try and get them off your engines. I need to bury some engines in this guy. Oh, man! Freaking Red Faction. I should have been launching missiles. Ah, oh, I'm so out of practice. I will get better again. I will get better again. I promise. Ah, hey, this is like stuck to me. I, I shall bring you with me. I shall call you Timmy. Hold on, come here. Let me get you in my claw. In the claw, there we go. Oh, there we go. Nope. Ah, he's too, he's too mobile. <laughs> Need one of those uh, little defense platforms that I can take with me. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, see, I cut right, I cut that asteroid right in half. It's, or not in half, but it definitely took a chunk out of him. Uh, I, I, I think this would be really, oh, goodies. I need the goodies badly, because we lost all our goodies when we, uh, <laughs> when we, uh, when we died there. Ah, uh, I remember the glory, yes. I remember this. You build up a whole bunch of points, and then you die, and you lose them all, and then you start over again. Ah, oh, I love the music. Ah, bees, leave me alone, bees. Leave me alone. Let's go drop off our stuff before the bees take it all. Because they are meanies, big meanies. There we go. Can't take it now. All right, uh, shall we Shall we attack the bees? Hey, let's ram the bees. There we go. Yes, yes. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, yes. Oh, it cut it. Yeah, cut, cut, cut down their little things. That was cool. Um, now they're mad, though. That's not good. Oh, you don't want to wanna step on a bee's nest. Oh, that's not good. No, no, no. Attack. Kill him. Uh, why am I not using my defense guns? Come on. Those bee drones are brutal, man. Look at him. Oh, you son of a... Leave me alone. Leave me alone, bee drones. Okay. Yeah, they are a problem. I can't wait to play them. They will be fun to play. I, I wonder if you can, you have any control over the cities. That would be really cool. Like, building the cities, like... Like you get to plant them or something? That would be really cool. I don't know. I have no idea. You know, it's funny. I've been... I've been featuring this game on the channel for how long and I've held out from actually playing all of the factions up to now just so that I can share it with you guys I don't know I just I just love that so much I love being able to share this stuff with you guys but you know what time it is it's that time where I have to go <laughs> but we have just begun and the Ripper the Ripper has been formed and I is this a precursor to what the faction what the theme is going to be of this let's play and what the tournament theme is going to be, what our fleet tournament is going to be like. So I want you guys to come up with some 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 fleet ideas, some theme ideas, and uh, we'll see what sticks. And maybe some names too for ships. So I don't know, guys. Uh, I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed the first episode. I this is fun, honestly. I've missed this game so much. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care.